Good afternoon, I'm Riza Diaz. This is One News Now. The health department clarifies this month's COVID-19 death toll. Health Undersecretary Maria Rosario Vergeres says out of 22 fatalities reported yesterday, only 4 or 18 percent died this month. She says the rest had perished in previous months but were only validated by the Epidemiology Bureau in June. Now, the health official also allayed fears that the COVID-19 situation in the country is getting worse. As of June 13, the health department has reported 25,392 confirmed cases, 5,706 recoveries, and 1,074 deaths. Hayaan niyo po kaming humingi nang paumanhin kung kayo ay nabahala at binibigyang linaw namin ngayon ang mga numerong ito. Gaya ng paulit-ulit po namin ini-emphasize, ang mga numerong ito ay ayon sa araw kung kailan sila nai-report sa publiko at hindi po ito sa araw kung kailan sila namatay. Ibig sabihin, hindi po sila pumanaw kahapon lang. And here are other stories we're keeping our eyes on. The Philippine National Police has launched hot pursuit operations against alleged terrorists in Sulu. On Saturday, two cops died after an identified armed man fired at a Parang Municipal Police Station. PNP Chief Police General Archie Gamboa says they have also provided medical attention to other wounded police officers. The number of Justice Department employees at the main office who turned out COVID-19 positive in rapid testing rises to 68. Justice Secretary Minardo Guevara says many of them immediately underwent swab tests and are now just awaiting their results. And the Bureau of Internal Revenue will no longer extend today's deadline of filing of the 2019 income tax returns. The BIR reiterates that the government needs the tax payments for its effort to contain the COVID-19 pandemic. Businesses and professional taxpayers have appealed to the BIR to further extend the deadline as the health crisis continues to paralyze work operations. For more updates, follow News 5, The Philippine Star, and Business World Online. Also, visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signal.play.com and stream One News Live anytime, anywhere. I'm Riza Diaz. We are One News.